Okay, hi everybody. Uh, we're going to try taking a look at going from the graph uh, to the function again. Uh, but this time we're going to take a look at a, a slightly little uh, different bit of information here. Let's assume that the graph looks, I don't know, something like this. Where I've got an x-intercept here of, let's say, negative 2. And an x-intercept over here, let's say, positive 6. Okay? And let's say that we've got another point over here. Let's, let's make sure that it's, it's obviously not the vertex or, or anywhere near the vertex. Let's say that we've got this point over here. Let's just, for argument's sake, it's the point 7, 1. So now, I'm asking you to find the equation of that parabola. So you take a look at the information you're given and notice again that you're given the x-intercepts here. Okay, I, I could have just listed the x-intercepts for you, but I've got them in the graph here. You don't know the vertex. So we are going to choose to put this okay, in factored form, okay, or root form. And just like we did with the vertex form, right away we already know two-thirds of the problem. I know that the numbers negative 2 and 6 are going to go in there. Because okay, remember our discussion here, when you see negative 2 as an x-intercept, that implies the factor x plus 2. And if I see positive 6 as an x-intercept, that implies the factor x minus 6. So in our, our function here, that's going to look like this. y equals a, x plus 2, x minus 6. Okay, now, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the, the stretch value here, okay? I already know it's going to be positive because I can tell by looking at the graph, but again, I've got to go through the steps to figure out the value here, and I'm not going to, to force it to be positive right now. I'll let that pop out of the, the math as I do the work. So, I'm going to plug 1 in for, for the y. And now this next bit of substitution here, this sometimes throws people off here. Remember, the x-intercepts go in for r and s. Okay, It's this other point that goes in for x. So both of these x values here are going to be, come from that 7. And then it will be plus 2 minus 6. And now I've got, oh, well, just 7 plus 2, there's a 9. 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, multiply those together. Turns out to be a times 9. And then we divide. Okay, and once again, the numbers that I'm choosing here are kind of spitting out some kind of awkward fractions there. But that's, that's okay. It doesn't matter. Our last step here is simply going to be to put those together. x minus... Okay. <laughs> okay, that's supposed to be 2. I wanted to put r again, and I don't know why I did that. But that's x minus 2. Ugh, and it's plus 2. Oh boy, I'm really ruining this one. x plus 2, x minus 6. Okay, so other than the fact that I, I really wanted to write something different there, uh, it really should just be repetition of what that step looks like up here, except with the a value uh, written in instead.